Key Shane Thompson of MVP Track Club has made waves once again at the Jamaica Olympic Trials, delivering a stunning performance in the men's 100 meters, recording the fastest time in the first round, and eventually winning the event with a world-leading 9.77 seconds. Thompson has positioned himself as a major contender for the Paris Olympics. Let's examine Thompson's journey, evaluates his chances, and explore the dynamics of his upcoming performance. Key Shane Thompson's 9.77 second finish at the Jamaica Olympic Trials is not just a personal best, but the fastest time in the world this year. At 22, Thompson has demonstrated exceptional speed and determination, surpassing his previous personal best of 9.85 seconds set at the Jamin Diamond League meet. What does this performance suggest about Thompson's potential on the global stage? Oblique Seville finished second with a time of 9.82 seconds, while Akeem Blake took third with 9.92 seconds. Both athletes have also qualified for the Paris Olympics. Seville's consistent sub-10 second performances and Blake's ability to challenge top competitors make them formidable opponents. Thompson's journey has not been without its challenges. Despite a promising start last year with a personal best of 9.91 seconds at the national championships, he withdrew before the semi-finals, leaving many puzzled. This year, he has made a strong comeback, running 9.82 seconds in the heats and 9.84 in the semi-finals. Oblique Seville's performance in the first round heats, clocking 9.98 seconds, showcases his excellent form. His 9.82 second finish ties him with Thompson as the second fastest in the world this year. Seville's consistency and ability to perform under pressure make him a strong contender. Akeem Blake's steady performance, including a 9.95 second finish in the heats, highlights his potential to challenge for a top spot. Blake's consistency in achieving sub-10 second times indicates his preparedness for high-stakes competition. Notably, Johan Blake failed to advance from the first round. A former world champion and Olympic medalist, Blake's absence from the semi-finals marks a significant shift in the Jamaican sprinting landscape. Thompson's performances this season, especially his 9.77 second finish, position him as a strong contender for the Paris Olympics. However, with competitors like Seville and Blake close on his heels, maintaining this form will be crucial. Can Thompson sustain his peak performance through the semi-finals and beyond? The recent race has solidified key Shane Thompson's position at the top for the 100 meters with 9.77 seconds, behind is Ferdinand Omanyala coming in second with a time of 9.79 seconds, and Oblique Seville securing third place with a time of 9.82 seconds. The remarkable speed displayed by the Jamaican athletes establishes them as formidable opponents, particularly in their rivalry with the USA, Jamaica's male sprinters are definitely making a significant impact, and it's clear that the world needs to take note. Key Shane Thompson's record-breaking performance has set high expectations for the Paris Olympics, as he prepares to face strong competitors like Oblique Seville and Akeem Blake. Several questions arise. Can Thompson maintain his exceptional form and clinch the Olympic gold? How will the Jamaican athletes fare against USA and other athletes on the global stage? The answers to these questions will unfold as we move closer to the grand event in Paris. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the channel for more updates. Till then, keep the sport spirit alive.